<laughs> All right, welcome to another fantastic Revit tip. Today's Revit tip is going to be adding wall sweeps inside of a wall type. And I'm going to show you why you may want to do that sometime instead of adding wall sweeps from exterior, outside. Okay, so we're going to go take a look at that right now. Let me minimize my face. My face. There we go. Let's open up Revit. All right. So let's. here we go. This is just an open plan. And uh, let's just suppose that you wanted a chair rail inside this building. Okay. Going all the way around inside the building. So chair rails or even um, like a shoe molding that you would want to put in here sometimes. So here's how we would do it. Okay. First, I'm going to go make the chair rail and make a base trim. So here we go. File. I need a profile is what I need. File. Hover over new and pick family. And out of the different templates, we're going to come down here to uh, <laughs> profile hosted. We're going to say open. And we're going to build ourselves a little chair rail. And so uh, in this profile, this host, 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 that means the wall. That's the, the wall, the, the, the wall side. And insertion point is where it's inserting into onto the wall. So we're going to start right there. So I'm just going to say create a line. What we need to do is draw ourselves a, a uh, base. And so let's just say we've got eight inches coming up here. And it comes out three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then we can do anything we want. We can have a funky ray, just whatever. I'm just going to show you guys some. So there, bam. We've got ourselves a profile. Could be anything. You guys can draw, okay? So what I want to do with this is save it. Save it. I'm just going to put it temporarily on my desktop. Mm -hmm. Desktop. I'm going to call it um, base trim, okay? Base trim. And I'm going to say save. And then I'm going to say file, new. I want a new one, new family. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down here to, mm -hmm, where is it? There we go. Profile, host it again. And we want a chair rail this time. Okay. Now we want to, we want to be able to control the top of the chair rail because that's where you often say, I want it at three feet. I want it at four feet. So we're going to build it from the insertion point building downward. So here's our chair rail, create a line and our chair rail. Let's come out. Um, let's just have a fun one. We're going to come out one whole inch because we don't care what it looks like. And we're going to come down and over and down and slope. And the honest truth is it does not matter what your, oh, that's really bad, Mike, but who cares? All right, I'm going to lift that up. That's that's looking really nice like a chair rail should look. Ay, ay, ay. This is craziness. But there we go. Got our, We've got ourselves a profile. I don't care what it looks like. It's just a chair rail. Get over it. Okay, I'm going to say save or pick the save button. I'm not going to say it. It's not voice activated yet. Okay, on my desktop, this is going to be called chair rail. Chair rail. Okay, save. So these are profiles, okay? I'm gonna load them. Look at this, I'm gonna load the chair rail in, load into project and close. And I'm gonna load you into project, bam. All right, just loaded one in there. And let me get back to, um, I don't think they both loaded. Let me um, open up, there we go. This is our base that we made. I'm gonna say load into project and close. So both of those are loaded into the project, okay? So let's go back to our little cut open plan. Let's just say on this wall, we wanted to have a chair rail. I mean, the we wanted to have both of those. So I'm going to say, not say, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to pick the wall and it, it brings up that it's an interior um, steel stud wall. Could be any wall, doesn't matter. I'm going to say edit type. Okay, now here we go. This is where the fun comes in. We want to edit the structure, structure button. Okay, we can even throw a profile of our wall out here so we can see what we're doing. Now, what we need to do is put this 
on the wall. So I am going to, we need a profile down here, a little wood. So what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom, once you open the profile or the preview, once if I close the preview, you don't have access to these buttons. They, they open only in preview mode. So to get these buttons down here to, to lighten up, you have to, to you know, be accessible. You have to have a preview. So here we are in our preview, and I am going to go, would you look at that? There's a button for sweeps. There's a button for other stuff, and I'll explain those in other Reddit tips, but sweeps. I'm going to pick on sweeps, and you'll notice here we don't have any sweeps in this wall. So I will click the Add button, and it, I don't want the default profile because that's a big six-inch square. And I don't know why Reddit even provides that because there's nothing really much in architecture that's a six-inch square except for maybe a column, a steel column is. Anyway, here we go. The profile I want, I'm going to come down here. Whoa, would you look at that base trim? The material, I can pick material if I want to for it. I'm going to make a wood, wood trim. It's just so it looks nice. Okay, we'll put pine on there, okay? Whatever. And um, now look at this. The distance from the base, zero inches from the base on the exterior side. And we could switch that over to be the interior side of the wall. You can also set offsets. And so what, we're just going to stop right there. I'm going to say apply. And you'll see it come in right here over. If you look over into our preview, there's our base. Now let's add another one. Add, and I would like this one to be our, I'm going to scroll down, our chair rail. And that one's going to be pine also. Why not? It could be anything. Pine. The distance up, I'm going to say four feet up. And I can, I can make that anything. Four feet from the base on the exterior side. So I say apply. And I'm going to say okay, so we can go look at it. Okay. Would you look at that? I put it on the wrong side. Oh, no. Okay, click on sweeps and you say, okay, I don't want that on that side. I want it on the interior side. So you can flip it back and forth however you need to, and you can adjust the height on these. But once you place it inside the wall type and you say, okay, it is now part of that wall type and it appears in your project. Would you look at that? Beautiful chair rail going around there. And so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to put them on this wall also. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say edit type. And you have to have a preview for this to happen, to work. And here's our preview. And so we click on, I'm going to do it one more time for you. I'm going to click right here on the edit and move my little face down there. There we go, sweep button. And there's no sweeps. So I'm going to hit add button twice. And so on this one, I'm going to say I would like the base. Um, and we go back to pine. I, I like the fact that the material stick once you, um, the last thing that you applied. This one is going to be our chair rail. Okay. And the base is zero inches on the interior side. And this one's going to be four feet up on the interior side. And I say, okay, and we take a look, and sure enough, it pops in, ta-da, when I say, okay, now it's part of that wall type, and it pushes everywhere that wall type exists. So if you will look at our plan, we've got a base trim and wall um, chair rail going on everywhere that that wall exists, and it breaks automatically when it hits inserts, like a window or a door, so it's not going to span across to the door, not going to span across to windows. There we go. Just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to put profile, these sweeps into your wall types. If there are um, other walls in your project that do not need to have this, so you'll need to make a separate wall type that has it and one wall type that has the trim um, built into it and another wall type that does not so that you can swap those out. All right. I hope that was a fun um, and useful tool for you so that you don't have to place sweeps individually inside your building when you need a, say, a chair rail or a base or even a crown molding. All right, you guys. Have a great time reveting out there. And uh, don't forget to leave some comments down below for suggestions for 
um, for other Reddit tips. All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, wait, I'm small. There's Big Face. All right, you guys have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.